Hi, welcome to iRevive, the complete water damage kit and instructions for the iPhone 8 Plus. First, you want to eject the SIM card tray using the SIM card eject tool. Second, you want to remove the bottom two screws that are the penelope screws using the penelope screwdriver. Third, you want to use the pry tool to create space around the side of the phone and slice through the adhesive just like similar to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Work your way around the phone using the pry tools. When you have to wiggle it a little bit, that's okay. Just be careful as there are connectors connected to the logic board from the front assembly. Next, you want to remove the screws, they're Phillips screws, on the bottom bracket and put the screws in a respected place to where you can put them back in the exact same place. Next, you want to remove the display connectors and all the connectors on the left. Now you want to remove the top bracket using the tri-point screwdriver. After that is done, you want to get the iRevive spray and spray it generously on the logic board. Now use the brush and brush it in circular motions as well as just front and back in all directions and keep spraying the iRevive to remove any area of corrosion that you see. Now you want to do the same thing for the display assembly connectors as well as the ambient light sensor and front camera connector. Do not use a heat gun to dry this up but allow it to air dry for one to three hours or even overnight. After you allow it to dry you want to go ahead and reinsert every flex cable connector back onto the logic board. Snap it down as you will feel it going back in its respective places. When you feel it connected, then move on to connecting the display assembly back onto the logic board. Now you may need to angle the display in a certain angle in order to align it just right, and that's okay. So if you have to move it around, just go slowly, and when you feel it connect, then you can move on connecting the ambient light sensor and the front camera flex cable. After you've connected both of these flex cables, what you want to do is plug it in if it's not powering on when you hit the power button. This will allow you to see is the phone working. Now we do offer a very simple mail and repair solution to this. You're more than welcome to send this in to us at iRevivesPray.com as we have a mail and repair option and in that process what we will be doing is removing the entire logic board and cleaning it from front to back. You will also find other videos online that show you how to pull off the logic board. Apply the same process. Pull off the logic board, spray the iRevive generously and voila as you can see this phone is coming on. What we do on the iRevive water damage mail and repair uh, process is we pull out the entire logic board we clean it from front to back we pull out any clips and connectors anything that we can see under the microscope here we're going to target it now that you've seen that this phone has come on with just this process you want to reinsert the two brackets there's going to be the top bracket with the tri-point screws you want to put those back on take your time Get them back in right. Make sure you put the right screws in the right places. Whether you've dropped your phone in water, rice, beer, you need your pictures, your high scores, and your games, whatever you may need, that's what we're here to do. We've revived thousands of phones throughout the world and continuously revive more daily in our office as well as through the mail-in repair. Feel free to apply the same solution on all your electronics across the board. Any repair videos you find online, any devices you have that have got down to the motherboard, use this spray to remove the corrosion. At this point, you want to put back the bottom bracket and reinsert the four Phillips screws in its respective places.
After that, you want to insert the top of the display assembly underneath the frame and tuck in the cables that connect the display to the logic board to make sure they sit flush and then work your way around the phone and snap the entire front assembly down. And last but not least, you want to put back the two bottom screws with the penelope screwdriver and then attempt to power on your device. Same thing, if the battery is low, plug it in, but as you can see here, voila, another phone saved with the iRevive spray. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.